Today, we're going to be asking the question, what is a crypto ETF? And also, how is that going to impact crypto in the cryptocurrency industry? Let's talk about it. But first, my name is Trev, and here at CoinMarketCap, we are on a mission to make crypto accessible all around the world. That's why we love making videos for you that are packed with information that are easy to understand and simple to share with your friends and family. So if you want something more than just hype and to actually learn about crypto, then make sure to hit the subscribe button right now and to turn on notifications so you're not going to miss out on our new videos. And let's learn together. So what is an exchange traded fund? An ETF or exchange traded fund is a type of investment fund made up of a collection of securities such as stocks, bonds, commodities, currencies, and is listed for trading on conventional stock exchanges. An ETF tracks the price movements of an underlying asset. Utility tokens, despite being mere virtual currencies, may also be a part of an ETF. ETFs are somewhat identical to mutual funds except that their shares trade on a 24-hour cycle, similar to directly interacting with a company shares on a stock exchange. Mutual funds trading, on the other hand, hinges on its price at the end of a trading day. An ETF, in short, will help mainstream finance investors to put their money into Bitcoin and other crypto assets without having to own or manage their crypto, which can get tricky. So let's talk about the regulations in this industry. The United States Security and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, which operates in the largest capital market, regulates ETFs under the Investment Company Act of 1940, which is generally under the same regulatory guidance guidelines as mutual funds and unit investment trusts. According to the SEC's investor alerts for ETFs, regulatory requirements for ETFs include federal securities law and relevant exemptions that are designed to protect investors from risks and conflicts, statutory limitations on the use of leverage in transactions with related parties, exact reporting requirements and disclosure obligation reviewed by a board of directors. Let's talk about the new SEC ruling on ETF regulations. On September 26th of 2019, the the SEC announced that it has voted to adopt a new rule that would modernize regulations of ETFs. This was done by establishing a transparent, consistent, and efficient regulatory framework so that ETFs do not have to apply for individual exemptions, which takes time and expenses before they go to the market. One year from the introduction of this rule, the SEC has halted exemptive relief that was previously authorized to certain ETFs. Therefore, ETFs that rely on this rule will have to comply with the conditions laid out by the SEC to protect investors. Ultimately, a clear and consistent regulatory framework promotes greater innovation and competition within the ETF industry and benefits investors. This is especially true to retail investors, dubbed Main Street, that are increasingly adopting ETF products as a part of their investment portfolio, given its low cost and passive investing nature. In fact, a record $305 billion flowed into the US listed ETFs as of June of 2021, compared to $249 billion of the entire year of 2020. So let's talk about the benefits of investing in an ETF. While private investors have access to equity in pre-public companies, fundraisers, or private funds, and institutional investors and family offices are offered exclusive access to financial products with a high minimum investment amount, exchange-traded funds are generally suited for the mass market retail investors. This is due to the small upfront amount required to start investing, extremely low fees, typically expense ratio is around 0.05%, and wide availability on online brokerages. Furthermore, during the post-pandemic crash and subsequent bull run of 2020, where growth stocks, especially those of technology companies, performed exceptionally well, numerous ETFs made headlines for their stellar performance. One that generated a cult-like following among retail investors is ARK Innovation ETF. A star fund manager and co-founder of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, the growth-focused fund generated a return of 152.82% in 2020, which is exceptional for an ETF when compared to a return of 20.9% in the broad U.S. equities market. So at this point, you might be asking, well, what's a crypto ETF? A crypto ETF is an ETF that tracks the value shifts of one or more digital currencies. Fundamentally, it works like a traditional ETF and is traded like a standard share on a stock exchange. For a cryptocurrency ETF to work, the company issuing and listing it on the exchange needs to bear custody of the underlying digital coin. Then, investors buy shares to represent their rights into the exchange-traded fund. As such, the investors gain indirect exposure to the volatility of the base cryptocurrency. ETFs provide a less risky way to invest in blockchain-powered assets. In some cases, a blockchain investment may involve buying into a blockchain ETF. Here, an investor interacts with ETFs that mimic holding stocks of a firm dealing with blockchain technology, the same technology behind digital currencies. An example of a blockchain ETF is Block, which launched in 2018. The exchange-traded fund plows 80% of net assets into firms interacting 
with decentralized ledger technology. Note that for a crypto ETF to be active, it must receive a regulatory green light from financial watchdogs in its preferred operating jurisdictions. For instance, a crypto ETF seeking to attract investments from US residents must get a regulatory nod from the country's Securities and Exchange Commission. So how will Bitcoin ETFs work and how will they continue to work in the future? The ETFs that are available today for most of the world can be bought on retail-friendly mobile applications such as Fidelity App, Robinhood, and TD Ameritrade for just a few examples. And they differ slightly from mutual funds since they trade continuously throughout the day. So a Bitcoin ETF is an exchange-traded fund that tracks the price of Bitcoin. And when they're approved in the US, they're available to trade on traditional trading avenues like the New York Stock Exchange. And it's worth noting that a Bitcoin mutual fund is an investment vehicle under the professional money manager's stewardship. A Bitcoin ETF, however, gives investors indirect exposure to the leading cryptocurrency without the risk of holding the actual cryptocurrency. And notably, investors' stake in the ETF fluctuates according to the price of the top cryptocurrency. Therefore, when the Bitcoin's value rises, the ETF's value also rises and also vice versa. The first Bitcoin ETF was the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy Fund, which started trading on October 19th of 2021. Unfortunately, regulators in major countries are yet to give a Bitcoin ETF regulatory approval, despite a handful of applications. For example, the founders of the Gemini cryptocurrency exchange, the Winklevoss twins, filed an exchange-traded fund tracking the price of the leading cryptocurrency with the SEC. Their application for a Bitcoin ETF was rejected twice by the SEC, and the second time was in July of 2018. Fortunately, Canadian financial regulators are on the front lines as the first few watchdogs to give the green light for a crypto ETF. In February 2021, the country welcomed a Bitcoin ETF that hit over $420 million in assets under management in 48 hours. Filed by Purpose Investments, the ETF opened its doors to investors on the Toronto Stock Exchange with the symbol BTCC. Another Bitcoin ETF known by the ticker EBIT trades on the TSX and is under the custody of Evolve Funds Group. EBIT gives investors exposure to Bitcoin by tracking its daily price fluctuations in terms of the US dollar. So now let's talk about an Ethereum ETF. An Ethereum exchange traded fund is a crypto ETF that gives investors exposure via trading on stock exchanges to the second largest cryptocurrency. The ETF is comparable with stocks or bonds only that the underlying asset here is Ethereum. Despite numerous filings of an Ethereum ETF in the US, the country's financial watchdog is yet to give a thumbs up, citing crypto price volatility and security issues. Crypto enthusiasts view Ethereum ETFs as a great view to invest in the cryptocurrency without buying actual ETH coins. Investing in an ETF also means that people would not have to own the ETH themselves, which could be safer for some investors, as a custodian would typically have more security mechanisms in place than an average investor. So let's talk about the benefits of a crypto ETF. There are many benefits to cryptocurrency ETFs, and these include merging of traditional finance and crypto. Despite hitting over $1.5 trillion in market cap, the crypto market is still minuscule when compared to the tens of trillions sitting in large traditional hedge funds, mutual funds, insurance firms, and other institutions. Crypto ETFs could potentially close the gap between the crypto economy and the rest of the world's economies. And broader market participation is likely to have a positive impact on the valuations of not only Bitcoin, but also the rest of cryptocurrencies. The next point is diversification. First note that an ETF can contain more than one asset. For instance, an Ethereum ETF, despite its name, could also hold Bitcoin or even Facebook stock. Consequently, it gives investors a way to diversify their portfolios. This option also helps investors hedge against risks inherent in denominating a portfolio in a single asset. Furthermore, interacting with a regulated stock exchange enables investors to utilize existing portfolios further. And the next one is convenience. Cryptocurrency ETFs mask the hassle of buying, selling, and storing virtual currencies. They also eliminate the need to learn the technology behind blockchain-based assets. Generally, a crypto ETF simplifies mass market investors, indirect entry into the crypto ecosystem, while allowing them to gain exposure to major digital assets as a whole, or to specific verticals such as decentralized finance if they invest in thematic ETFs. Furthermore, the passive nature of ETFs, which automatically rebalance if they are actively 
properly managed allows mass market retail investors to invest and forget, which is deemed as the investment strategy with the highest return, according to a study by Fidelity Investment. And the next one is efficiency during tax filing. The unregulated nature of cryptocurrencies prohibits major bodies such as pension funds from allowing the purchase of digital assets directly. But leveraging regulated platforms such as stock exchanges can allow for efficient tax filing of cryptocurrency ETFs. And the next point is greater confidence. Another advantage of crypto ETFs is that they come from regulated firms that are traded on regulated avenues. Therefore, non-crypto investors can put their money in them with much confidence, knowing everything is continuously monitored. And now let's talk about some of the disadvantages with crypto ETFs. Despite numerous benefits, crypto ETFs also have their shortcomings. Some factors hindering cryptocurrency ETFs include ETFs are centralized. Cryptocurrencies have lessened the reliance on centralized financial entities such as central banks. Additionally, they provide a greater level of privacy compared to government-issued currencies. While these are good reasons for adopting cryptocurrencies, the use of crypto in ETFs sacrifices one crucial aspect of cryptocurrencies, decentralization. Investing in crypto ETFs means allowing a custodian to hold your digital assets, and this leaves crypto ETFs open to the watchful eyes of financial watchdogs, which water down the benefits of decentralization and privacy. And the next one is that ETFs are costly to manage. The convenience of crypto ETFs comes with a management fee. Since the cost is usually a percentage of the total shares, investments into a cryptocurrency exchange traded fund can attract high management premiums proportional to the duration of the investment. And the next one is that ETFs are not tradable with other currencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other currencies are normally tradable against each other on a digital currency exchange. Unfortunately, crypto ETFs aren't tradable with other cryptos. And furthermore, a crypto ETF is impossible to pay for goods and services, unlike the underlying crypto asset, which some merchants already accept. And the next point is that accuracy isn't guaranteed. We've seen that a crypto ETF can contain more than one asset, including non-crypto ones. And although an ETF mimics the price movements of its underlying assets, multiple assets in its portfolio can affect the tracking accuracy. For instance, a 60% increase in ETH's value may display as a 45% rise in the ETF. Therefore, the tracking may be inaccurate compared with the same asset in the spot market. Market. And the next point is that liquidity may be at risk. The liquidity risk sets in if the ETF fund manager sells short. When that happens, shareholders pay the price. Additionally, ETFs are likely to cause a dramatic change in the price of the tracked cryptocurrencies as more investors are exposed to them. So why did it take so long for the SEC to start acknowledging and accepting Bitcoin or crypto ETFs? Well, in the US, this is largely due to a regulatory environment that concentrates on cryptocurrencies unregulated nature. With no central authority and watchdog, the SEC considers the crypto industry prone to manipulation by whales or wealthy investors and fraudsters. However, the change in administration in 2021 has seen more pro-crypto individuals head key financial departments. For example, Gary Gensler, a known crypto supporter, was appointed as the SEC's new head. And consequently, this has increased crypto enthusiasts' faith that more crypto ETFs are on their way. The Canadian Bitcoin ETF from fund manager Purpose Investments hit staggering sales of over $420 million in over two days when it launched in February of 2021. So what are the closing thoughts on ETFs? In 2017 and 2018, the SEC cited volatility as the primary reason for rejecting an ETF, a rejection some cite as one of the reasons behind the market downturn at that time. Three years later, the crypto ecosystem has made great strides towards maturity. We have witnessed that the market efficiency has improved, the regulatory watch has evolved, audit processes have strengthened and advanced custody products are now on the market. Unfortunately, it's not yet clear whether the crypto market has fulfilled the SEC's definition of maturity. Experts such as Kathy Wood, an executive at ARK Investment Management, believe that the crypto industry's maturity is pegged at a market capitalization of roughly $2 trillion, which is drawing nearer. In any case, with Gary Gensler in charge of the SEC and many big institutions and high-profile business figures that are all wanting to invest in Bitcoin, the odds have never been better for the future of crypto ETF. Hey, did you like that video? Yeah, well, make sure to check out these other videos here because if you like this video, you're probably going to like these videos. So what are you doing? Go check out those videos and like and subscribe while you're at it. So yeah, check them out.